Here is the Fantasia Hair Care website. We're going to redesign it today. We want to give it a new look, fresh look, clean look, something different, something that has products on the website, something that isn't so scrolly. Um, you know, we do like the big pictures. We don't need all this social. Um, you know, so we want to kind of just simplify it a little bit, clean up the header, the navigation, so it's a little bit more easier to understand, looks a little more familiar. So that's that's our job today. And it looks like I'm just going through some inspirational websites uh, just to get some ideas and you know look at some how some other companies are doing it. You know, this company looks, I mean. Very very quickly, it's speeding really fast. But uh, sorry about that. But you know, for the for the most part, everything looks very clean and very white, and you know, um, a little bit of a mess. This one I keep coming back to. Um, the It Cosmetics um, seems to have a really good layout, um, and it's very clean and a little easy to navigate. Some of these other ones were a little too uh, narrow and didn't have really much of the what I was looking for. You know, so as I start, I'm just going to start with a uh, bootstrap grid, this 12 column grid is kind of where we need to start a framework with in order for it to be mobile responsive. So, you know, this is really how we start all the time with uh, new concepts. And, you know, we use this grid, use some rough artwork and the logo and try to manipulate the art to give us the website we're looking for rather than digging through templates of websites and, you know, all these pre-made things that are out of the box. It's very difficult to build a, an effective website around a marketing strategy using these those kind of templates so um, we always build these websites from scratch um, this is essentially what we're doing is building it from scratch and uh, you know it helps to know a lot of the programming I know a lot of the programming um, you know in, in doing these designs to know what's in your in your bag per se uh, with programming it helps you tremendously with designing a website from scratch um, so we can think about how we want the site to be programmed at the same time. Um, typically, these e-commerce websites are very, very clean, very wide open. You know, the navigation is very simple. We keep it down to the, you know, down to the, the bare minimum as far as what links we want on here. A shop now, a styling tips, our story videos, and blog. This is pretty much all that uh, we really want to focus on. I mean, ideally, we want to focus on the products, the top products, and the the brand new line of products which we have here, the curly and coily line of products is what we want to be uh, front facing. Um, so right now as I speed through this development, it did take me a little over an hour to come up with this concept. So if you're if you're willing to sit through it, it is, it is pretty cool to watch, I think. Um, you see my whole process from start to finish. Um, uh, the software I'm using here is Adobe Illustrator. Uh, it's a professional illustration uh, software. Um, most web designers that build websites from scratch will design it in Photoshop. Um, I feel like doing it in Illustrator gives me a lot more scalability um, with artwork and keeping things in ve vector format is primary um, when dealing dealing with this stuff. We can enlarge and reduce the size. Which basically means I have the ability now to enlarge and reduce the size of different aspects of the website whether it be that button or that box or that graphic I can make it as big as I need to <clears throat> sometimes while designing this you come up with a good graphic for uh, a poster or uh, or trade show booth or you know sometimes that just happens and if you're busy building inside of Photoshop you can't really enlarge it you can't really enlarge it that way So I'm working with the color scheme for this site, just trying to come up with something pretty consistent and white. I mean, these pictures were a little too colorful. I mean, this is starting to look very messy to me. Um, you know, I wanted to stick with the, the company's corporate logo colors, which is, it's like a gold, a little hard to read over the white, so I made the logo black instead. <clears throat> You'll see later I actually changed that, because um, now that I'm looking at it, I didn't like it, but... Um, you know, here's a little bit of a trial and error as to what goes, what looks good and what doesn't. You see, I took all the color out of that banner. Um, I just really like this white, clean look. You know, the very thin separators just to really streamline how the user 
the viewers looking at the website and keep their eyes going in one direction, left to right and down, nothing confusing it, nothing getting in the way, no bright colors to hurt your eyes with. <clears throat> Like those images off to the right there you see I didn't I didn't use them um, they're just a little too busy they are clean they're nice I like them good mood shots sometimes you need a good mood shot to you know to display on a website to get your point across but um, for this particular product it, it didn't seem necessary now there's just a lot of purple going on I had a lot of trouble with getting the purple but I have to realize too that it's not always going to be this curly and coily line. I have to, you know, envision, play it off in my head that, you know, it's going to be their other product too. And some of their other product, product line is, you know, black and gold and green even. And there's a lot of different colorways for their site and their product. So it's hard to, it's hard to see that. But on a clean, with a clean look for the website in general, anything's really going to go, uh, when they when they browse the website, um, you know, there's this purple here. I tried to fit this in. Um, you know, I wanted to I wanted to use reuse this graphic because this graphic has been carrying from you know since the beginning of Fantasia. I mean, they liked this graphic a long, long time ago. So I wanted to kind of try to reuse it. Um, but here's really a good a good separator. Um, you know, after the products will show nice separator break it up a little bit as you scroll down it just means that somebody's more interested in what what the company has to offer you know so oh good they, they've got the product it's great and they start to scroll down looking for some more you know what what more are they looking for so let's give them a, a little taste of everything that Fantasia offers you know uh, a blog um, some some interesting information some maybe some tips uh, you know this is uh, always something that that people are looking for when they're on a website that they, they, that they like, especially a website where they're going to buy product. We use a standard check us out on Instagram. So we do the blog, and we'll do Instagram, and we'll make sure everybody remembers that this is all part of what Fantasia is. And, you know, maybe we'll give them enough on the homepage so that they'll keep coming back. Here we're, we're developing into the home page. Uh, I'm sorry, the interior landing page. You see, we off to the left there. We we changed the graphic on the home page. We also changed the, the logo at the top to make it gold. Um, going real fast now, um, just so you can see the development of the interior pages. We have a detail page, the curly and coily, and uh, this is an actual detail page of the product itself. So we decided to use these tabs. By now, how to use? I think we changed it up a little bit. We're gonna do the add to cart right here um, instead of putting the add to bag inside the drop the uh, the tabs. We decided to put it up there, stagnant. So you know, we're looking looking really good now. Uh, we get the five stars, the write a review, the how to use, the video tab. Um, we're gonna we're gonna add a few others too. I also have my programmer to, behind me while I was working on this too to help me figure out what we're gonna do in each section. Suggest that we put this, you know, related customers also purchased section that shows the other items. Um, we're going to add the review section because this is a big, it's a big marketing thing. It's good to have the reviews on all of the products. So this is uh, this is where we finished up. <clears throat> right now, just this is just the uh, the breadcrumb, so we can navigate quickly. Went back and forth quite a bit on how we wanted this to to lay out. 
Uh, in the end, I think we just got the breadcrumbs centered over the page. Yeah. Now, we're in mobile development. Uh, I think I slowed it down a little bit, but now you can see the process of how we condense this into a mobile version. Um, right now, here I'm working on the um, cell phone version, iPhone version, or you know, any. It's basically responsive. So this is really a screen um, for any screen this size or roughly this size. Uh, this is how we want the layout to respond. Um, <clears throat> so that's why I basically do it in this, this position. So uh, we could basically just create an artboard that's got, that's more wide than it is, oh, there's Darth Vader, um, than it is tall. So you can see what the mobile version looks like. So here I'm just trying to hone in on, you know what, what I want this mobile header to look like. Um, I think I went back and forth a little bit on it. Uh, and now I'm creating the custom mobile version header. Uh, do a lot of that. speed it up a little bit just to uh, <clears throat> to move through it a little faster I think we're about 12 minutes in on this video already um, just want you to see how how we design it for mobile uh, you know we still custom design everything and make sure that everything is moved over you know instead of showing all four products or all the products in you know a single column we'll, we'll do it in a little slider um, it's e easy to use with an iPhone um, you know, even these long wide graphics will, you know, reformat into these into a different position. Like I have it here, and it will look a little different when it's actually on a mobile phone, just because that's you know, basically it's just developers' guidelines and stuff. And this is Adobe Illustrator, so we'll make sure that it comes as close as possible. It just won't be perfect. Just converting the footer. So instead of listing all the products and the more info, we just put it in a simple drop down. Condenses the page a little bit, makes it a little easier for the user to navigate, keeps it simple. We still have the Instagram. Um, and this, oh, I'm doing the mobile interior page. So when you actually click on a product list, we'll list them one by one instead of in a slider. It's better to just list them all vertically um, you know so you can see them clear you know and I also design an interior or detail page for a particular product as well so this is also going to be more of a vertical layout but you can see that you know you can see that we we take everything on the regular site and we move it all to, to mobile and that's just to make sure that nothing gets lost in a, on a mobile version that looks pretty good. And there you have it. We have a mobile version and a desktop version. Now just to show you the difference, I'm going to show you the old website versus the new website side by side. On the same screen here. We're a couple of days after I finished the initial video development. So just going to show you the difference between the two. 